What is good? We're back. We got Dynasty Train Values. Push check. Let's go. <laughs> and for your pleasure, we'll there'll be a little redraft action in there. But Got to. Uh, you know, it is the season. It's we got our Dynasty's redraft in season. Right. We got our guy, Austin. How you doing, man? Good, man. Happy to be here. How are you guys? Great, man. Good to see you. We got Austin on the, uh, where can we find you on the Twitter machine? At Austin Abbott FF on Twitter. On the X. Um, really appreciate you being here. We're real excited to jump into this one. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below, all that jazz. Uh, there's more episodes from this week, so make sure you check those out. We got a 24 way too early mock draft. We're going to be hitting you with some uh, Dynasty actual rankings, kind of rest of season rankings in the coming weeks, uh, the next week or two. Uh, we got a 23 re rank. Um, I guess not a mock, but we're just going to re-rank the 23 class top 24 uh, in a week or so. Be sure, like I said, like, subscribe, all that jazz. So that comes right to your little fingertips and you don't miss anything for your pleasure. All right. So I think first and foremost, we need a price check on aisle five from Devon Achan. He's just changing all his names. Devon Achan. Yeah, Achan, Achan. Devin I heard, I heard the announcer say Achan, Achan. Right. We're going Devon A Chain here. Devon Achan. Um, obviously, just super hot in them streets. Um, so hot. Two weeks and he's RB four overall. Obviously, you put up a fifty and you're going to be hanging around this town on a corner. Jeez. Um, he's BFF's highest graded running back rb4 he's good 21st overall didn't play week one week four split carries with mostert uh but plays more snaps 39 to 28 runs more routes 28 to 16 they obviously got beat up this week a little bit um with it with the talk of uh mcdermott kind of know how to play them taking away to his first read making him work a little harder um and they had a good combination of pressure and doing a good job of making sure they take away that first read um, for Tua, which has been a high percentage of his passes. Um, so, A-Chain, what are we doing here? Because, you know, the, the whole deal was, I, I don't think anybody was saying this guy isn't a lot of fun and super electric, right? Uh, everybody, well, I shouldn't say everybody. Most people were into what was going on on the field for him. It was just like, hey, you know, again, I'm going to put my glasses up. There's been nobody <clears throat> ever with this height and weight and BMI to be effective for x amount of years which you know Yo, he's, I, I don't he's 20 he's 38th in attempts with 27 and sixth in yards right which you know obviously you have monster games that's 11.4 yards per carry so At first it's not even close so, so you know you're worried about potentially holding up for a season off season talk was hey this guy could put on a little more weight get it down for track was somewhere around the end of the first round in dynasty drafts. And I was fine with that. That's about, I thought that was properly rated. Um, so, I, you know, I wouldn't say we were necessarily down too far on him, maybe a player or two away from where some people might've had him one or two players higher, uh, but didn't end up with a ton of a chain, man. I had the chance, but it was a late draft and Jonathan Taylor was like about to get traded to Miami. And I was like, I don't have enough time to wait on this clock to see if J, but if JT would have gotten traded there, he would have been like, dead right well that and then it was another layer added at the end was it like hey they were going after those guys which right. that's what good teams do right good teams don't give a shit about really who's on the roster for the most part if a guy like jt becomes available and the dolphins think they can get him for Let's a decent price out. might as well check it out yeah um so maybe a little overblown on there they were probably aggressive in some okay offers but obviously ursa's you know a jo so uh <laughs> asking doesn't want to pay a guy and and then you know doesn't want to accept what kind of what would be reasonable for a running back. So here we are with a chain. He's crushing. Obviously you mentioned being very efficient and it just seems like, you know, McDaniel is the gatekeeper of this usage and how the, how it's going to work out every week. Can a chain necessarily hold up, which I, you know, I don't, the way they're using him, I don't mind it. He looks great. He looks explosive. He looks like what he is. And then you saw the first, the one hit in the preseason where it was like, Oh, and that's, that's why you're a little scared of a chain. So, do yeah. you you stay in here? Do you get out? What are you what are you thinking here? Because he's had a you know a puka like ascension here into you know fantasy god level. Um, 
So what do you what do you do what are you doing with H eight? Is this a is this you know what's what's the price? What are you thinking here, Austin? I mean, at this point, how are you not in on H N? Uh, you know, he he dropped a fifty burger, so I got to pronounce his name correctly, it, and it still drives me crazy. But I do have to put respect on his name because he dropped fifty points, so I can't say H N any anymore, even though it rolls off the tongue so much nicer than than H N. Just doesn't feel right. But uh, it's funny, man. After two good games, it's like. I'm in, right? And we were just talking about Swift having like two good games this season. It's like, wh- why Why do I want to be out on Swift? But after two good games of HN, I want to be in. <laughs> um, and like, I was so far out initially on HN, man. I like, I didn't want anything to do with him. And I am, I am that guy that pushes up the glasses, like dude's 180 <laughs> pounds. Like I just, I didn't want a part of him. And <laughs> like, like, you got me, you guys got me. And uh, you know, he's just, he, he looks awesome. He looks incredible. He looks dare I say better than Raheem Mostert already? He looks electric. Is, is that a hot take? I don't know if it's necessarily a hot take. I mean, Raheem's look just got lightning and lightning over pretty there. Good. Like, and yeah, it's just, it, and I think that's another point is like, you know, it's everybody two garbage time. He went games, to a too, really good spot both and, in di- different directions. And it was really games. exciting. You just didn't know what the usage was going to be. And and now since he broke out, they, they seem to give him a little bit more in this last game. Um, so we shall see. But I mean, is this, would you, what do we what, what 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 would you get out for? Or is it just like a no get out situation? You're just like so fun. F it. I'm I'm all in F, on A chain. I'm F just it. we don't even the running back landscape is is so iffy already. We're just gonna roll roll with it here. Yeah, that's exactly it. Like you you just said it perfectly. I don't I don't think selling is the move, man. I think you you hold and you just profit, you enjoy, or I like I, I don't even hate the idea of buying. I get his values up, but don't we want to buy good assets? Don't we want to win games at the end of the day? Isn't that we're, what we're playing for? What's your buy price tag? I, I think got to be two it. firsts at the minimum at this point, right? <laughs> well, you paid a first for him essentially. Yeah. I mean, most drafts he was either one twelve super flex, one twelve yeah. or two one two two. I don't think I can do it. I, I don't think I can do two firsts, man. I, I would really do my best to do a first and, and and real change, not just like here's Gabe Davis, like like something much more valuable. If if you could throw Gabe Davis in on there, though, that's a great yeah. Great I would be to trade right now to ship the game right, out. Would, would, right, you, would you give Nico and a first for a chain? Oh man, that's tough. I don't think so. I think I'd rather the first to Nico. I think yeah. uh, recent yeah, bias is getting to me a little too much about Nico, but <laughs> I don't know. I could I probably know. move. A chain and get Nico in the first. A chain or Kenny Walker. Ken, Ken Walker. I, I think Ken Walker is. Um, I, lo- I love that he proved everybody wrong so far. I know we're still early in the season, but man, people were so low on him. Do you remember last year? He hit a point where he was like RB three in Dynasty. I think that was mm-hmm. like arguably his peak. And mm-hmm. then this off season, he dropped all the way to RB like 18, 19 range on some sites. And now, I mean, dude, he lo- he was RB3 in redraft heading into this week. Yeah. And he's already got a touchdown tonight. Ken Walker is legit, man. Nothing against a but give give me Ken Walker confidently. How about ET? I would rather Travis ETN. I, I, I haven't seen enough. It's been two games. ETN was a stud in college. He 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 looks so good in the NFL. Take away his, his rookie. Yeah, take away his rookie campaign. I get that, you know, it wasn't ideal. He's been Pretty, pretty, pretty ideal so far. Yeah, I could. Uh, I could stick with both of those running backs. We kind of gave you a little bit of a hey, buy this guy before he really broke out. So we'll pat ourselves on the shoulder there. I don't know if that was Patreon or one of the end of a one show. It was like we were. I was really liking the way that the usage was going and what they were looking like um, as far as offensively and and the the way they were running the ball. Um, I don't know that I can buy into it right now. How about how about let's how about Gibbs? Whew. That is spicy. I think I, mean, I gotta sorry. stick with Gibbs. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm with you. I was I was gonna say I feel like you still gotta stick with Jameer Gibbs, man. We just haven't seen it yet. And when he does have that one big game, oh my god, he's gonna be unattainable. He probably already is unattainable, but like when when he does have that big breakout game, for, forget about it. Don't you can't buy him. And now is that you know obviously. Monty's been playing well. They kind of want to use him as the grinder. I believe is he three year deal for Monty. I don't know what the voids yeah. and the deads are for him. Three years, is, eighteen million. Is it is it because that we're still just lacking confidence that A Chain will be their guy that they use? Which I you know last year I think they were twenty ninth or twenty 
eighth or thirtieth and and you know runs per game the Dolphins that is um, is it are we just we're not quite we're, we're kind of seemingly like anybody who seems to be on an upper echelon of running back who seems like he is essentially the guy we don't want to swap for a chain at the moment and it is is it because that like even if moster and and wilson kind of go away into the sunset here that we just feel like that there'll be another guy that comes in for miami that they'll just t- put another third on a different body on the next on the next go round or bring somebody in, they've already had interest in bringing somebody in any, I just, I was in, I, I was a big proponent of it, of Achan all off season <laughs> long, right? At one of those F's is for fun. I want to have fun. He seems like a really fun player is a fun Very offense. Fun. So I was in on the end of the first round and I definitely have him. If it wasn't for Jonathan Taylor and Jim Mersey being the worst, uh, most just Jim Mersey. Um, Love Jonathan Taylor. Hey, Chain I can't in the first imagine for Jonathan Taylor. I can't imagine that it would that you ever imagine that this would be what you could get, right? I, no one ever thought it could go this good. I didn't think that you would be getting seventy five points in two weeks out of this man, right? And that's uh, like, but that can't like come on. Yeah, what is he like one hundred fifty pounds? Yeah. Like, I, it could be one ninety five by the time we start next season. It just seems like that one guy picked him up and suplexed him and he was out for four weeks. Like, if I could cash in for a, a stud who I know can get tackled in the NFL on a regular basis. Mm, people are going to like that. What? Some sort of sizist over here. He got two sizes. <laughs> hey, I was telling you to get him and now I'm telling you to upgrade. So what do you want from me? Um, I'm telling you to sell Kyron too. If so, would you take A-Chain, add a first to it? Try to get JT right now from the JT owner. You might could just get it, JT. You're not. That's not happening. Um. Yeah, dude. I feel like you got to do that. I, mean, I feel like you got to do that. I, I would rather Jonathan Taylor. Like no, no Homer bias. Nothing, man. Just JT when he's when that man is on the field when he's healthy, he's incredible. Send both. Send the same. Send send the same trade for Brees and JT first and an A chain to both of those owners. See if you can grab them. A chain and, and a first for Brees. Yeah, I know. I know Brees has looked atrocious recently, just just due to you know. Well, he's around. averaging six point five yards per carry, right. which is third best in the league right now. I, I just meant like over the past two two or three weeks. What, yeah, what, whatever. yeah that team wise. sucks. Uh, yeah. right, what are you right. gonna do? I'm I'm fully with you. Uh, I would prefer Brees. I, I think I would prefer Brees there. That that's a really good question. Brees um, is a great buy right now. I, that's, I'm that's, not. You, I just I will not quit Brees, man. Like I don't care that yeah. it's been tough for two or three weeks, and uh, I just want to say, Dalvin Cook. I'm sorry if you're listening, but brother, you look like you are just you don't you do not belong in the NFL anymore, man. It's it's a shame. Like he's had such a good career. Dalvin's been awesome. It looks like we are not only on the back nine, but he looks like he does not belong. Like Izzy Abanacanda should be the two. Um, well, what's interesting I, with that with that team is like, I, yes, yeah, somebody like Dalvin Cook went there for a specific reason. And I could see the the fucking balloon be really deflated for Dalvin Cook right now. I went there thinking I was going to be with Aaron Rodgers, split in the backfield. This offense was going to be a lot of fun. I think we kind of saw that with the defense for a couple of weeks here. And then and we kind of saw it to start that game. And then we saw the switch almost turn on like, oh, shit, we're in a game. He's he's playing all right. Oh, shit. Where's that defense been? It was a all of a sudden, right. All too. of a sudden, bang. It was 17 nothing. It looked like it was going to be a route. And then if things Josh just Gardner switch, wouldn't have fucking... Switch up a little, little bit, bit and then too. I feel like, you know, so, you know, Dalvin, yes, he doesn't look great. I, I would be buying the shit out of Brees. I would send both a first and a chain for Brees and JT yeah. uh, all day long. I think that's that's a nice move up. Um, so that's, you know, kind of the price check in on on a chain. If I could, you know, if you could sell sell for that, I would I'd upgrade to one of those guys. I mean, and you guys mentioned a bunch of other guys you'd be in on um, in some sort of a swap. So. Um, that's really all we're trying to do here. Find a little price and check on where's the on line. A-chain. Where's the line though? Like Josh Jacobs? Like I, I think I a chain or Josh Jacobs. I mean, right now you, it sounds silly to say Josh Jacobs, but I'll take Josh Jacobs. Just straight up in dynasty. Josh sure. Jacobs or a chain. Um, I, I would still have to go Jacobs, man. He's, he's, he's just solid every single season. Him, he had over 2000, 2000 total yards in 16 games last year. Like that, that was excluding their final game in, Oh, technically week 18. Like he was, dude, he's a lights yeah. out. I, I'm, I'm a big 
big advocate of Josh Jacobs. Uh, um, he's a buy low right now. J- J- getting a little older, yeah. but I'm, I'm still all right with it. Okay. Let's keep this thing moving. Uh, we talked a little A chain, A chain, A chan, A chan. Uh, let's let's go to another running back. Let's go Kyron Williams here, which we talked a little in the last uh, show we did. Um, seems seems like you know what's keeping him afloat right. Not a I don't want afloat seems like a bad word. What's really driving? He's RB three. What's really driving uh, the output is you know what the Rams are inputting him with is you know just a great usage. He almost has no split with really any other running back of note, which is not going on really anywhere in the league. Um, and it's not to say, I don't think Kyron's a bad player, but he's not that bursty, uh, big framed, crazy athletic player. And and when you look through all the numbers, they, they semi reflect that. And, and, you know, for the Rams not being an organization that you thought were going to be great this year, R- Kyron, you know, has always been a good player, which I was. I invested. I got Kyron on almost every dynasty. Humble brag. I got a ton of Kyron because last year I traded in for in the fourth rounds of every league that I possibly could and grabbed Kyron and sat him on the bench. It didn't work out year one and now year two. Um, oh boy, it's working out. So, you know, he's 18th in in yards after contact. He's he's got uh, he's 20th in missed tackles forced. As long as 20 yards, 41st and breakaway percentage. So those aren't the good stats. Right. Not, nothing really jumping out at you there. He's he lack is, of explosion. He is RB3. He's got 64 attempts. That's tied for fourth, uh, 245 yards, 17th, five touchdowns, tied for third. Um, and then 21 targets, third, 11 receptions, 14th. Um, you know, 105 receiving yards, one touchdown receiving. Uh, so isn't putting up those crazy efficiency numbers, but he's being used like, you know, hey, if, if if you can get this usage out of a guy and he's he's a decent player, which got Kyron is, you're gonna you're gonna get this. And the offense has been prolific here to start the season much better than anybody thought. Um I think in Dynasty this goes back to being in redraft, you're riding the lightning here. Like that's what you're doing with with Kyron. It's like whatever, I'll, I'll take this. He's splitting with Ronnie Rivers right now, who basically played in the third quarter when they were up 20 to nothing or whatever. And then as soon as things got back, they gave Kyron a break fourth quarter, all Kyron again, second quarter, first quarter, second quarter, all Kyron, third quarter, Ronnie rivers. They were beating up the Colts. Colts came back. Kyron's in all fourth quarter, essentially. So just yeah. getting insane usage is good. R- runs the offense. Like McVay wants it to be run. He does everything he wants them to be, to be doing. They're in a lot of goal line situations and he's getting those carries. Um, so dynasty wise, it becomes hard on a competitor to sell because the hellscape that we're dealing with in uh, dynasty right now. But he's he's a he's a screaming sell for me in in most cases. Um, and like we mentioned on the last show, we did. I sold my first. Me and uh, Jason split a team. We sold our first share for Godwin and a two. Um, you know, those are the kind of deals that I'd be looking to pull off. Obviously, Kyron just keeps putting up points. And if you're a competitor, like I said, it's really hard to get rid of Kyron and take those points out of your lineup because running back is so hard. To, like, you know, Travis Etienne right now is, is you know, Josh Jacobs right now. It, you, all these guys that you were, were kind of, Ramondre Gibbs, you know, a lot of the now Chubb is out and Saquon's missing time. CMC is like the, the only fucking running back who's getting usage like Kyron, who's just how happens to be like the most explosive player on the most fun offense. Uh, you know, and those combos, you know, don't don't happen a ton. So let's uh, let's let's get some price check and, and, and trade value on your thoughts on Kyron Williams. What, do you, what are you thinking, uh, Austin? So like, Kyron's shown to be a really good pass catcher. Uh, do I believe in him long term? I really don't think I do, man. I, that's where I'm at right now. I, I need to see more, and I, I, I'm, I admit that I am lower on him. I, I remember reading a report last year, I, and this just really caught me off guard. Uh, the report was basically along the lines of Kyron was going to be the guy in 2022, not Cam Akers. It was fully Kyron, and that sounds crazy to, to just even – you know, go back a year ago, like, you know, we all thought it was all Cam Akers, but Kyron ended up getting hurt early in the first game. And then it ended up being the Akers show. Um, and then here we are one year later. And like, now we have Kyron healthy and he has shown that it is the Kyron show. He is the guy Cam Akers gets traded. It's been all Kyron. Um, I wouldn't pay a first for him to answer your question. Uh, I'm cool with throwing a second out, Adam. Uh, I know that's not going to get it done. 
Uh, so I'm, I'm just not going to be capable of buying at his current price. Like the market is, uh, I'm not willing to pay up for Kyron. And yes, he's been a stud. Um, I actually love Kyron in redraft and dynasty. I, I would, I would love to sell him if I could for the right price. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be, you know, if I could swap out for an Ayuk or a Hollywood Brown straight up, fine with that. Like we said, we, we got a Godwin and a two from somebody who just locks Chubb the week before. Uh, so those would be the kind of deals that I'm trying to get done with Kyron there. And if I have him in a hundred percent, I'll sell him probably in, in 60. Um, especially if I'm competing, you know, might, might keep him around on one or two. And, and that's kind of the deal is like, it's not that I don't necessarily believe in Kyron long-term. He's showing you that he can do it. It's just the, the usage rate of how he's got this backfield essentially to himself is almost surely not going to continue uh, into 2024 uh, with the Rams. I just don't think that you'll see this kind of usage again from Kyron. And maybe, maybe they, maybe it will, maybe McVay saying, fuck it. I paid Gurley a ton of money. It didn't work out. We'll ride Kyron to the wheels fall off. And we got some guys back behind him that we feel fine about. And maybe it will, but I'm, I'm kind of with you. Like, I just don't see that he's so valuable right now because the usage is so high. He's not splitting carries uh, at the clip that a lot of other NFL running backs are doing. And this Rams offense, we know when it's good, it's fucking good. You know, you want the players on it. Puka's crushing, Kyron's crushing, Stafford's crushing, Tutu Atwell startable. Uh, you know, Higby, he's very startable. Higby, he's been a little banged up, and, and Cooper Cup will come back and make it even potentially more fun. Um, so, you know, I, I guess, you know, mostly feel in general sentiments. Those would be kind of the players that I'm looking to get out for is those kind of mid tier wide receivers. I think that would be a, a good move for you, just kind of moving forward, like Ajax and, and, Hollywoods and you know yeah the, shit maybe you could catch a little Traylon who's out and hurt and Kyron's crushing maybe you could swap Kyron for Traylon oh you gotta you can get something else yeah probably maybe so I mean especially in like these home Kobe leagues. Myers in the two these go I'll keep Kyron I think I'll take Jacoby in the two Nah, Jacoby in the two doesn't hit the same as Godwin in the two, man. I it mean, doesn't, but I mean, Jacoby's probably putting up more points than Godwin for the most part. I mean, obviously, th- this he missed a week, and then yeah, well, and then you, you know, know no, no, player, so. no, uh, no, Jimmy this week, right? Which is all Devonte. <laughs> but they're the, they're the guys that are getting all the you know all the love throughout. So I think the, the difference, like we just talked about it, A chain, like it's so hard to say, is not say A chain. Uh, <laughs> A Chan is like doing it so explosively, and and Kyron is leaning on his usage, and he just doesn't profile as a guy that can hold up workhorse numbers. Like I just, I just don't see how that is sustained, and it's not like he's just slaying. I'm fine yards with saying it sustains for the year, but I just don't and, know that they move forward with him just being the guy and getting this kind of usage. Redraft, I'm holding. I'm yeah, playing them sure, but Dynasty, I'm cashing out. I think. Yeah. Agreed. And um, ask for a lot because yeah, oh, people sure. need running backs. I'm not saying start at Jacoby Myers in a two, but like I'd be fine with J- 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 what I'm getting there is a guy who puts up consistent fantasy points and a in a wide receiver spot or a flex spot that I know is I feel very comfortable getting me double digits plus and a two. And if you could say that I turned my fourth round pick into that, um, I'm fine with that. Um, that's not that'd be my, you know kind of moving down the scale. Obviously he's RB three right now. Does he end the season as RB three? You know, most likely not. Uh, but with this usage and he stays healthy, he certainly could. Um, so let's keep it moving. Uh, let, let's, I think we need to get a price, a price check uh, dynasty trade value action on Brandon. Ayuk here. Um, Cause was a favorite of ours in the off season uh, was a favorite of ours last season. Um, 25 years old. He's on the last year deal with the Niners. Niners have kind of interestingly kind of restructured and got a decent amount of cash and good cap space all of a sudden. Do they keep so him? They seem like they could keep him. He seems like he's all of a sudden a very important part. He is their wide receiver one. Debo does a whole lot more, and he's just very important to get those chunk plays um, with the Niners right now. Ajax air yard shares. A percentage is 50.3% of the Niners offense. Uh, that's good for two overall. The other guys that are floating around him are Devontae Adams, AJ Brown, uh, Hill, Justin Jefferson, Evans, and Olave. So, you know, all those guys are in the same air yard share as Ayuk. Uh, how, how important are air yards? Are those like real good, Austin? <laughs> 
I guess so, man. If Brian Ayuk's doing it, it's probably a pretty good thing, right? <laughs> I like uh, that answer. His reception yard market share is 45.1%. That's first. Um, his yards per route run, 4.85. That's number one for anybody with like 20 or more targets. Uh, yards per target is 16. That's number one. Same thing with people with 20 or more targets. There's some guys in there like Mims and some other guys who have Robbie Chosen Anderson who've had big plays. <laughs> Uh, you know, chosen. you know, in, in there that that mark up that number. But when you when you put the filter on and, and get the right. 20 targets or so, he's yeah. first there. Six point four uh, yards per target over expected tied for number one or number one Drink. Uh, with 20 with guys. But that's with guys with the uh, 20 targets or more. And then TD market share, 66.7 percent of, of their TD market share uh, receiving wise. So, you know, just I saw hitting, a wild stat hitting a ton of. You know, efficiency markers for the glasses pushers. Actually, <laughs> uh, 17 catches this year, all of which were a first down or a touchdown. Yeah. Shout out to Coach Yak on Twitter. Right. So, Damn. Brandon Ayuk right now the is number one graded wide receiver for PFF, is just absolutely slaying. Wide receiver 15 missed week three. Just looks awesome. Huge part of this offense. Purdy's slinging it. They're averaging 31.2 points per game. I uh, had that somewhere here on my sheet. I guess Domitian's 31.3 points per oh, game from San Francisco. Well, uh, that's number three overall. Obviously, Miami had the huge game, and then Buffalo just 70, put up a huge game. So those guys are ahead of them. Uh, but San Fran seems to be they only at, that, 35 at that this number week. Every, yeah. you know, every week. So um, th- he's in a great offense. Now, we don't exactly know what's going to happen moving forward, but what are your thoughts on, on Aya kind of? Value wise, buy, sell, hold. What do you, what, where, where, where realistically are you kind of placing him? I think you're crazy. I think you're out of your mind if you're selling Brandon Ayuk. Um, he, like if you own him, you absolutely have to hold. I, you do not sell, like, you do not sell Brandon Ayuk right now. Um, man, he's, I, I'm, I'm really high on him. Like, Ayuk is the go. Like, he was a top 10 fantasy wide receiver over the final 12 weeks last season. Uh, Brock Purdy is healthy. He's improved. Uh, Ayuk is just a better route runner this year. He's more polished. He's he was unguardable in all of camp. Yeah, uh, six six foot, two hundred pounds. Like the the, uh, the size was never an issue for him. First round pick, obviously draft cap, never an issue. Uh, he was wide receiver eight from week six to seventeen last year, and it felt like everything had gone wrong for the 49ers quarterbacks last season. And he was still able to do all of this at the age of 24, right? Um, And like just under 115 targets, under 80 receptions, just over 1,000 yards, 1,015. It feels like he didn't fully break out, but here we are. Like we're we're seeing it right now, man. And I think underdog is crazy. I think they're out of their goddamn mind. They had it. They had a you pegged for 775 yards this season and four and a half touchdowns. Like that's crazy. The man is already at 320 yards, two touchdowns. Um, I I think Ayuk is more of a hold or buy somewhere in between there. Uh, I think he's more of a buy. I really think he's more of a buy. I don't care that his price is up. Go get him and go hold for the next five, six, seven years. Go win five, six, seven rings with Brandon Ayuk. Why not, man? Like, what red flags do you guys see with him? Yeah. I don't, uh, really nothing, none, nothing. none except for you could occasionally have the Niners offense completely being healthy. And, you know, like this week, uh, Ayuk was coming back from a little bit of an injury. Debo ate the, the week before with Ayuk out. Now, I, you Debo, know, was Debo a little, little, little injured and, uh, you know, Ayuk gets all those. But Ayuk's like their, their actual big time receiver. So it's like he's so necessary for what they do. Every time the, the Cardinals came back with something, it was a Brandon Ayuk big chunk play for them down the field. Which um, he can he can do that. He can stretch you. He can yak it up. He can take short right. stuff into long stuff. And you know, he's, so he's everybody's incredible. paying a first for Ayuk right now, right? Yeah, I don't think that's easy done. Oh, way more. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. How about Nico or Ayuk? Brandon Ayuk, easy for me. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. How about um, you? I'll take Ayuk, yeah, for sure. It's just it, it's 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 proven out at yeah. this point that that you feel really good about it. Um, a first and a second for Ayuk. I I would pay that a heartbeat. Yes, I guess Jordan Addison. Ayuk. Pittman. Ayuk. 
think I'm sticking with Pittman, but it's close. Man, the thing is, this is this is why I love Ajax so much is because you can get the, his his over the course of what has he been in the league four years now? Maybe uh, experience is three years on there, so I don't know if that means. So he's been in the league four years, and every off season it's either. Debo is the expensive one or I is the expensive one. And each year you just go get the other one mm-hmm. to get the cheaper one. So like we have bits of both of them over the course of their career. I never had to pay the price, the premium price for IX. That's why I have a hard time with these trades. Sometimes it's like I've gotten him where it was so cheap that, you know, I don't want to go pay properly rated value for him. I want to get the players when they're cheaper. So I don't know that I would trade for I coming off of a, 20 point game. Scary Terry or Ayuk? Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk. It's, it's a couple years of age for sure. Yeah. And a, a real a real team, a real offense with a real team logo and stuff. All right. Seems <laughs> everybody's everybody's real high on on Ayuk. I like it. Let's let's do one more real quick. Let's go let's go let's go Brock Purdy. Coming out of nowhere, seventh rounder. Um, uh, you know, everybody was. It was a lot of yeah, buts. The last and, pick of the draft, and then okay. threw a million picks in training camp, and that was a big deal. And it's got to be Trey Lance, and yada yada yada. Shanahan hates Lance, and it's like Brock is out here showing you exactly why the Shanahan Lynch brain trust was basically saying it's Brock, and we're going with Brock because they're averaging thirty points a game, and this offense has never looked like it looked with anybody else at the helm consistently anyway. Um, and obviously CMC is a huge part of that. Brock Purdy is eighth in yards with 1,019. He's fourth in yards per attempt with 9.10. Uh, eighth in yards per game, 254th. Five touchdowns, zero interceptions, third in completion percentage, number one passing Raider, fifth in fantasy points per drop back, 18.5 fantasy points per game. And like I mentioned, San Francisco is averaging 31.3 points per game. What are we doing with Brock Purdy and Superflex right now? In, out, selling, moving, combo platter and to get up to a different quarterback or or you feel just so good about Purdy or are you trying to send something to maybe acquire a little Purdy? I think you got to be in on Brock Purdy at this point, man. Like he's he's just keeps proving everybody wrong, man. He's I think Brock Purdy's legit and like at this point, how can you deny it? Nine and zero career record in in the regular season. Uh, technically, he's two and one in the playoffs. I know he's really two and zero, and then the, you know throw away that Eagles game. And I sure. say that because he obviously got injured very early. I know he came back in, but like I'm, I'm just I'm going to give him the pass. I'm going to throw that away. He's really like eleven and zero in his entire career when you look at it. And like I understand we're talking about fantasy, not real NFL purposes, but. Um, like I, I think he's got to be worth at least a first in Superflex with with some real change behind it. Um, he's he's not only does he look good, his his supporting cast is just out of this world, right? Yeah. I, I get he that he made great. he yeah. yes, I, I understand. Like if he was on almost any other team, sure his numbers would be down, but you know that's not the case, right? He's he looks good. The Niners look incredible. Like let's just hold, man. Let's just hold him and just enjoy winning with him. Yeah, I think if if you could pivot off of Russell to get to Purdy, would you do that? Mm-hmm. Uh, absolutely. Um, how about how about Stafford? Maybe a little a little older quarterback. Would you pivot all off of Stafford to get to Purdy? All day, all day. Stafford looks so good right now. It's hard to pull that trigger, but it makes sense age wise, I guess. And and we don't know what the length of Stafford's going. It seems like he'll be an early exit, but that could that could really change. Um, Gino, Gino or Brock. Brock. Brock all day. Super easy to move. Through. Brock's really moving up the charts here. Yeah. How about um how about golf? Golf or Brock? I think that's the best question so far. Um I guess Brock. I think I think Brock too. Age, situation, longevity. I Brock. I mean, the golf's gonna be a starter in the league. Right. I mean, you know, again, I think you kind of touched on a little bit. I mean, this is his second year in the league as a seventh round draft pick. Brock Purdy. Uh, Brock Purdy. And right. like it golf has been in and he's in inundated and in a system and it, it, he had his growing pains as well. And so it's hard to not say golf right now. I just golf feels like safer a little bit on, on a week to week basis. But I mean, Purdy's just so damn efficient. 
the, the problem with the Niners is, is they can get it done in so many different ways. Uh, but Brock, you know, seemingly always yeah, just had, right at the center. He's just not a guy who's ever, he's not really ever going to throw for like 300 yards and, you know, a bunch of touchdowns for the most part. Like everything's, you know, yeah, I mean, two this, this, mid twos, a touchdown or two. The ceiling isn't necessarily there, but yeah, the floor, no, I mean, that's, I guess that's kind of, you know, right now, but I mean, floors seems pretty so rock solid. Sick. Yeah. It's yeah. 15 guaranteed points. Jordan Love or Brock? Give me the better team. I think I'd rather Brock, man. That's, that's, Woo! that's pretty short. Like it. We're spicy. Spicy at the end here. Nobody likes Jordan Love. Jordan Love's crushing it fantasy points wise. It's true, but yeah, I kind of like Jordan Love. I still don't like him. Yeah. The efficiency is not there. Anybody got anything else on on Brock that you would I mean, first a first round pick is is seems like minimum right yeah, now. Yeah, like where Brock. in the first, you know, we've got a good super flex rookie draft coming up next year. Mm-hmm. And you, you know, obviously you're it seems like it's probably still late first. You're keeping your top three picks, and then after Drake May and, and Caleb Williams are gone and Marvin Harrison, then you know who's the next quarterback that comes into play? Would you rather have Brock over, you know, Shador, or I mean, it'd probably be more like Ewers, Ewers and Pe- Penix, Nix, Bo Nix. I mean, at this point, I would take the known with Brock over that over probably Pretty outside all of out, outside for me. It'd probably be outside of Caleb Penix and and Sanders. Uh, and I would Drake. take I would take the known and and Drake. So I'd take the known probably with Brock over the rest. Um, well, you're gonna take you're gonna take Sanders. You think? Uh, Sanders was just great again this week. Yeah. Like with missing his best player and and. You know, then they just, all of a sudden they just have another guy pop off. You and know, take it to the show. So, um, so you a little mid, bit mid more to, legs involved with him as well. Saying more late, we're getting pretty late. And the capital is going to be good on Sanders, whether it's this year or next. It's hot, you know, top five probably. So, yeah, I think it's late first. I mean, I think that's about where we're at still with Brock. I don't, like you said, the, there hasn't been enough ceiling there to be like, oh my god, you got to have him, but. There's a little bit of ceiling built into the amazing floor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just, you're guaranteed, like, that second quarterback start in Superflex. Yeah. You're crushing it with Brock Purdy right now. Right. Oh, for sure. All right, Austin, you got anything else before we get out of here? No, man. This was a good one. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, man. Hit us one more time with uh, where we can find everything on the way out here. Yep. All my content is at Austin Abbott FF. So, I appreciate y'all. Thank you guys for having me. And uh, thank you, boys. Well, it's not having you anymore at this point. You're basically part of the family. So we very much appreciate you. We'll see you a ton more down the line here. Um, we appreciate you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. You can $5 high on the Discord if you want to support more in a different way. That would be much appreciated. Or uh, if not, like I said, five star on the podcast or you know, subscribe on YouTube, any of those things. Greatly help us out. Comment below what you like, what you didn't like. That also helps us out. Even if you hated it, um, you know, jokes on you because that helps us out too. Yeah. So um, appreciate you guys. We'll see you next week. We got all sorts of fun stuff lined up. Like I said, we got, you know, a 24 mock that you should go check out. We got a 23 re-ranking. We got dynasty rankings that we're going to update. And obviously we'll be going to keep going with all the uh, dynasty content and, and throw some redraft in there. The buy, sell holds, the, the trade targets. We're going to start getting into rebuild chats because we you know we need to be talking about that and their dynasty how you should be dynasty trading through those rebuilds so uh we got you covered for everything all facets new old young next year this year um come hang out with your boys and we really appreciate you so we'll catch you next time peace